Now, one of my uh, sort of thoughts when I was approaching the show this evening was that we didn't have um, a trans person who is remaining trans coming to be part of this debate. So I've heard from you both on this, but obviously, Ollie, you have are in the process of detransitioning mm -hmm. from trans. So I don't know whether the trans community will feel they have. I the think I just want to interrupt there, and Ollie, you can disagree. But is it not right to say that you're detransitioning from being transracial, not transgender? Did you no, ever come out as transgender. transgender? I was transgender. How long were you transgender for? For a year. Because I'd argue that if you were a transgender woman, you're therefore a woman. And if you're saying you're not transgender now, therefore you were never transgender. No, I struggled with uh, my identity my whole life. And, you know, it's the trans community. They're always saying, oh, you shouldn't question someone if they feel trans, if that's how they identify, you're not allowed to question them. So why, because I detransition, why would you question I'm not questioning that. And I, I'm sorry that you went through that, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that everyone has the same experience as you. Correct. Everybody has a different experience and they're entitled to that. But my issue is the trans activists that have hijacked the LGBT community and are causing real harm to the LGBT community by pushing gender ideology on children, by forcing women out of women's spaces. That is my issue. I don't have an issue of trans people. I have many trans friends. My issue is with the radical gender ideology. So do you think there is case for the argument then that this show is premised around this evening, that there is a bit of strain in the community? There's definitely strain. I mean, look, there are people that say that sexuality and gender identity should not be conflated. and. I think the real issue is the more extreme elements of the trans activists that are pushing this agenda, that are pushing for all these things on children, pushing for hormones on kids and puberty blockers. That's the real but issue. But again, and didn't I think you spend like £75,000 on surgery to look like a member of BTS? What, so should we not be causes, talking about BTS indoctrinating children But then you could say the same about way. someone that's non-binary. You know, you could say, are they not allowed to identify as how they feel? That's all I was no, doing. No, I'm just I was using, suggesting I was using the same that... logic. I'm using the same logic as woke people. You can identify as anywhere. LGBTQI plus 2S, two-spirit. If somebody can identify as two-spirit, I can choose whatever I want. I was struggling with my identity. I've dealt with those issues. And now I'm trying to help children. The LGBT community should be coming together to help children, to find a solution, to support trans people as well, people that have struggled their whole life. But in your journey... I support that, but we also need to respect women. Men shouldn't be in women's spaces. Men shouldn't be in women's sports. We need to respect all people. 